What's going on guys, Beastly Gamer here and welcome to a Beastly Indie. It's been a few weeks since I've done one of these videos and I wanted to do what I think right now is actually a pretty good time to talk to you guys about something that's kind of important, kind of a hot, hot button topic in the United States at this moment in history. The presidential election. Now a lot of people stay away from this stuff and I really don't care. You know, if I believe something I'm going to say it, I really don't care what people think. You know, I might be wrong. I might be right. Who knows? That's what opinions are for. And I do have an opinion about this election. I do have an opinion about the, the elected officials, the people who are running for office. And I do have an opinion about the, the direction of the country. Let me just start by saying this. I've always held democratic values for the most part of my life. Uh, now, I don't think any real person is 100% Democrat or 100% Republican. We're all human beings, you know, and there are parts of both parties that hold true to me. You know, I can't agree wholeheartedly with all Democratic ideals. I just can't. And the same with Republican ideals. I'm a human being. Uh, you, you're not born with this book tattooed to your ass telling you exactly what to believe. You believe what you feel is right. You know, if you have a moralistic compass, you might be more Republican. If you if you have more liberal uh, views and you, you want more freedom and you want more uh, equality, and, and acceptance, you're, you you believe more of a democratic point of view, and I have a, little, a bit of both. I believe in equality, and I believe in moralistic compass as well. So it's like I feel a little bit of both. But where are we now uh, in, in this moment in history? I believe at this moment in history, we're about to make the worst mistake in history. Uh, this election has been marred by fraud. This election has been marred by. Uh, investigations, FBI's, it's just tons and tons of things that have been happening on the Democratic side. Uh, voter fraud, election suppression, um, disenfranchised Democratic Party, the Bernie supporters, the Burners are people who I 100% I feel for and, and I, I hold lots and lots of those values myself. To see the Democratic Party being undermined the way that it's been this election cycle, uh, to see that a person who's has the highest unfavorability and trustworthiness ratings in uh, in political history for you know running for the president is actually about to be the president should let everybody know okay this is more and more scandal this is something that's not happening on the up and up this is something that's being done against the will of the people nobody likes Hillary Clinton very few people like Donald Trump uh, a lot of people want to compare the two. To me, you really can't even put them in the same category. To me, Donald Trump is nowhere near as corrupt and scandalous as Hillary Clinton. Going all the way back to Watergate, Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton have been some of the most scandalous politicians, cutthroat bastards to ever, uh, you know, hold elected office. In my humble opinion, Hillary Clinton is was behind. Uh, getting a, a known child rapist off and laughing about the fact that he he passed the polygraph test. Uh, Hillary Clinton is known for uh, you know the U the, the U S ambassador in Benghazi dying on her watch while they asked for security and they weren't able to get it. Hillary Clinton is the the person who undermined the the uh, State Department by as Secretary of State putting a private email server. Uh, a private server. It's not like she created a new email address. She had a new server built and installed in her basement. She paid a private contractor $5,000 to build this to undermine the Freedom of Information Act so that the, the American people won't find out who she's talking to through these emails. She's The company that she created and her husband, the Clinton Foundation, is known for uh, taking money from enemies of the United States and 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 people who give money to the Clinton Foundation get political favors. They, this has happened all through her tenure as the the uh, Secretary of State. This woman is marred with controversy. People dying in the, you know, d people dying in the White House, uh, you know, when they're involved with the Clintons. Everyone who was involved with the Clintons back in the 90s are like in jail for embezzlement and money laundering. These people are incredibly corrupt. Very, very corrupt. And look what happened to Bernie Sanders. The DNC information came out you know, of course, uh, Julian Assange and WikiLeaks, they leaked that information, uh, basically letting the world know that the Democratic National Committee was against Bernie Sanders the entire time. They tried to go after him possibly being an atheist and being a Jew. They tried to say that his, his campaign was a mess. All this stuff. I know you guys are like, Beastly Gamer, what the hell's happening here? I don't just play games. I'm concerned about the future. I have, I have kids, man. I have children. You know, and the direction this country takes is going to directly affect them more than it's affecting me.
So I care about the direction of the country. We have a person in office who basically was let off by the FBI. James Comey, the head of FBI, came out and laid laid out the facts on how Hillary Clinton broke law after law after law. How she she undermined the State Department. She she sent and received over 100 that they know of, over 100 top secret and above top secret documents that were marked. You know, these these are things that she knew that the people who she was talking to when she was going out of the country on her BlackBerry, they were hacked. And that very likely uh, hostile actors ha hacked her private server as well, which is basically giving away your national security, destroying the national security. The, there are people who live and die to protect national security, and she just let it just go. And James Comey came out and said if there was anyone else, they would face you know, repercussions and penalties and they would be stripped of their status and they wouldn't have any access to any more top secret information. But in his opinion, with air quotes, we don't think any reasonable prosecutor would ever prosecute this case. Get the hell out of here. Then Loretta Lynch, <laughs> my God, the head of the Justice Department, Loretta Lynch, has a private meeting three days before James Comey gave his bullshit analysis of what happened with Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton's husband meets the head of the Justice Department on a tarmac, walks onto her plane, all her staff leaves the plane, they have a 30 minute conversation that she says is about him playing golf and, and his grandchildren. Just her and her husband and Bill Clinton, which sounds to me like a damn coup. Her and her husband, Bill Clinton's telling him, well, well, we're going to do this for you. We're going to make sure you and your kids and your grandkids are all taken care of. Just make sure she doesn't get anything. And she's like, okay, well, just give me this certain amount of millions of dollars. Uh, hire me when when, Hil when Hillary becomes president. And I'll make sure nothing happens. That's what happened, man. It's just real talk. And so with all this information, all this information about Hillary Clinton, there are still people who believe in the democratic process who've seen not only was the democratic process undermined, not only did fraud happen in California and all these other places against the burners and people who were supporting Bernie Sanders, they still say, well, we got to support Hillary or Trump's going to be in the office. What the hell is wrong with you? Are you kidding me? After all that shit I just laid out, there are people who say we still need to support Hillary after all that? All that corruption, all that shit against the people, the destruction of democracy, what this country used to stand for? You're telling me you would rather vote this criminal into the White House knowing what she's done because Donald Trump says things that don't sound popular? Get the fuck out of here. I'm sorry. And and to my, my brothers and sisters in the world, my African Americans and, and my Latinos, who, who feel that Donald Trump is against them. I don't believe that's the case. I really don't. To me, Donald Trump hasn't said anything race, racially charged to me, personally. I think he, he he's not very elegant with his words. He doesn't speak eloquently. He just says what's on his mind, and sometimes it comes out in a very brash way. I think he wants to stop the illegals from coming in. I think he wants to stop terrorists from coming from overseas and possibly turning this place into Syria or Iraq or Kuwait. He doesn't want people from those lands coming here. He wants to protect the borders. And as the United States, it's something we should all want. This is our country. We should want it to be our country instead of this globalist bullshit. We got people here who are homeless, people here who are starving, and families who are disenfranchised. But we're going overseas, and, and Hillary Clinton and the Clinton Foundation is sending millions of dollars to help other people. We got people here who need it first. That's why, hey, look, I agree with Trump when he says America first. At least somebody's saying it. Now, am I a Trump supporter? Yeah. I support him much more than I do Hillary Clinton. I actually believe in a lot of things he says. A lot of people say, well, he's a bigot. He's a racist. He hates Meg. He doesn't hate anybody. He just said some hardcore shit and people can't deal with it because everybody is so politically correct. Now, am I voting for Donald Trump? No, I'm not. Now you say, Beastly, you just did all that talking about Hillary Clinton being a criminal and corrupt and the fucking bride of Satan, which I believe she is, but you're not going to vote for Trump? No, I believe there's a better alternative than Trump. I think that Trump is tired of the corruption. I think that he used to be uh, Bill and Hillary's friend. Whether he is or not now, only time will tell, but it doesn't sound like he is. 
The stuff that he says doesn't sound like he is at all. It's not like he's fed up with them and he sees the corruption and he's trying to get her put in jail. It doesn't sound like they're friends to me. But I believe that Jill Stein of the Green Party is the, the direction to go. She has democratic points of view. She has a lot of the same ideas and believes in the ideals of a democratic country. And uh, she, she wants to do things to help the, uh, the disenfranchised and the middle class. She wants to make college free for everybody. That means if you want a higher education, it's going to be free. Not only that, she also wants to make health care a human right. She also wants to make all the college debt that people have incurred for years disappear. The same way we bailed out Wall Street and the banksters, she wants to bail out the American people. All these young men and women who want a brighter future. You, you young people, you want to go to school and, and learn a great trade and be, get a PhD in something, right? Jill Stein is the person that will get you there. Not only that, she has great ideas and plans on dealing with the crisis of war. She has a, a great ideas on dealing with climate change. And an emergency jobs program is going to get people in the country back to work. And see, mainstream media won't touch her. They're scared of her. Because every time she opens her mouth, she steals votes from Hillary Clinton. The, the, the mainstream, if they allow Jill Stein to be on MSNBC and CNN and Fox News every single day, Hillary Clinton would have 1% of the vote. 1%. And I, I believe the people who su support Hillary Clinton wholeheartedly are people who obviously are either old and don't know any better or people who have been bamboozled into her movement. Young black people who believe that it's black to be Democrat and don't understand that Hillary Clinton is not Democrat, they vote for Hillary Clinton. Young, ignorant black people, I even know people who say this, uh, Bill Clinton got his dick sucked in the White House, I'm voting for him. What the fuck is happening? When people say it to me, I look around like, is this real life right now? Are you serious? People don't look up and investigate and find out who these candidates are. A lot of people don't know Hillary Clinton speaks for the big bank. She takes money from Wall Street. She, she made $675,000 by giving three private speeches to, to uh, Goldman Sachs, right? Goldman Sachs, one of the major big banks that anyone who's running for a Democratic office should be against. But she did three private speeches at $225,000 each. And she won't release the transcripts of these speeches. Why? Because she didn't say anything wrong? Did she possibly say something that's the antithesis of what she's telling the American people? Of course. Hillary Clinton is one of the biggest liars I've ever known of in my life. Everything she says is a lie. You know, she supports the TPP. It's the gold standard. Her and her husband created NAFTA, right? But the TPP is going to send more jobs out of the country. Well, you guys think it's bad now. If you're young and you're a college student and you're looking for a job and you want a better future, you think it's hard now, it's going to get even harder if this demon is allowed to, to run that office. Because it's all about her. It's all about how much money people are going to give her and all the power that she can get. She's already scammed the whole democratic process. All these Democrats who are saying, well, let's unite now under the umbrella of Hillary Clinton to defeat Trump. You are fucking insane. You should be uniting against Hillary Clinton because she has undermined the entire democratic process. Entirely. She has said fuck you to all the American voters who voted Democrat this year. Look at all the power Bernie Sanders had at the DNC this week. He had tons of power. Why? Because everybody voted for him. Nobody voted for Hillary Clinton. And when his delegates, when Bernie Sanders' delegates got up to go outside and come back, they had put uh, notes on all their seats saying this seat is reserved. They put white noise boxes above these areas of the people who were protesting against Hillary, saying put her, lock her up, and saying uh, no to the TPP and all these things. These people are disenfranchised. And you expect these people to come together and unite under a democratic process with a leader who is the antithesis of democracy? It's insane. If you guys want to know more about what's happening uh, throughout this uh, process, this election process, there are two great YouTube channels that I, I listen to just about daily. H.A. Uh, e. Goodman, uh, who is, <laughs> he has the, uh, the eyes that look into your soul when he talks to you. And also, uh, Debbie, the same progressive. Check them out. These people are passionate uh, and, and they're activists and they speak the truth about what's really happening here. Don't follow uh, channels like the Young Turks or Secular Talk. These guys are full of shit. 
They are a part of the system. They're a part of the machine, no matter what. If you can, if you can lay down all these facts about how a person is corrupt and say, well, we still need to support this corrupt person because we don't like this other person, then you're a part of the problem, period. If you can sit here and say down the line for the last 20 years how Hillary Clinton has undermined the law, she has no regard for the, she has no respect for the rule of law, she lied before Congress, she committed perjury in front of the world, she's lied to the American people, just lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. She's responsible for people dying, okay? She undermined the, the national security of the country, right? If you know all these things and then you'd still turn around and say, well, we got to support her because we don't want Trump in the office. It means you are a shill. You're a piece of shit and you should not be speaking to the people. And, and these guys get a huge following because people are so used to being told what to do. People out here are listening to these pundits and they're used to being told how to think instead of saying, wait a minute, you're telling me to support a criminal because you don't like what this guy said? Are you out of your fucking mind? Donald Trump may say scary things. I'll give him that. But Hillary Clinton fucking does them. She does scary things. The things she's done has already hurt this country in ways that we'll probably never know. I don't want to get any more into this. Uh, I could talk about how much I hate Hillary Clinton for the next five or six days straight. And how I don't necessarily hate Donald Trump. I don't think he's a bad guy at all. I don't think Donald Trump is a racist. This is a black dude talking to you. I just don't see it. You know, I'm a practical person. Donald Trump has never said anything that I've seen. And, and believe me, I follow the political process. I know what's happening. You know, I watch his conventions. I watch Hillary Clinton's conventions. I know what's going on. I see him talk. I see a person who's passionate, who is speaking off the cuff. When I see Hillary Clinton talking, it's a person who's speaking to a teleprompter and is as fake as you can fucking get. This woman is a uh, action figure. She's totally fake. There's no heart or soul inside of this person at all. You can see it's nothing but a ploy to get power. This woman has changed her accent like seven times. She goes to the black community and says, this is like a plantation. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Get the fuck out of here. You are a piece of crap. You need to be in prison for life. And I'm voting Jill Stein. Jill Stein has great points of view. I didn't talk about her enough because... I love Jill Stein. I mean, just listening to her talk, God, it resonates with me. Uh, I love her to death. You guys check out Jill Stein's website. It's jill2016.com. I love listening to Jill Stein talk. I love her ideas. I love the way she deals with these ridiculous pundits who are in the pocket of Hillary Clinton. There's one pundit at the DNC uh, Tuesday who asked her, he said, do you ever feel like you're stealing, you know, are you sabotaging Hillary Clinton right now by running? She looked at this idiot and said, Hillary Clinton isn't entitled to our votes. She doesn't have our votes. She doesn't even have the votes to steal from. The whole thing is corrupt. But you guys check out Jill's website. If you're interested in a third party candidate, if you're not, then vote your vote how you feel. You know, I mean, we're all human beings and that's what makes the world go around. But I just pray to God we don't vote a criminal into office. Again, Jill Stein's website is jill2016.com. She's an awesome candidate and probably one of the best candidates that I've seen in many, many years for a true democratic United States. Uh, if she doesn't win, then I'm 100% with Trump. There's no possibility. I can't vote 1% of Hillary Clinton. I would shit all over her face. I cannot stand that demon. And I know some people might not feel that way, but I'm telling you guys exactly how I feel. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up. I know this is one of those videos that probably get some comments. Tell me how you feel. You might feel differently than I do. And if you do, please express yourself. I believe that everyone has an opinion and should have a right to express that. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel, guys. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter. Jill2016.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.